Hey guys, today I want to take you through some of the features of this new helmet that we just got. This is the HJC IS-33. This is what the wife is going to be riding, and it is really a cool helmet. It is obviously a three-quarter helmet, so very different than her last one, which was a Shoei RF-1000, a full face helmet, and I will be wearing the updated Shoei RF-1200 in the same color. This is called Wine. And it is a little bit darker than the red on the FJR, but it's a lot closer match than the red helmets, which are much more bright red. I'd rather have this mismatch than the white one. Alternatively, we could have gone black, but I am not a real big fan of the low visibility helmets. So, wine is the first choice. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting on my helmet because wine in my size, double XL, has been backordered from showy and I don't even know exactly when I'm going to get it. But, black would be my second choice. So this helmet, again obviously a three-quarter, she loved it because it's so much easier for her to put on given that it's just more of a slip-on fit and she liked that this didn't bother her earrings as much. You know, things the ladies have to take into consideration, but we tried on a lot of helmets and this one fit the shape of her head much like the showy so if you are a showy rider right now know that at least the is 33 from hjc is a good fit for you there it does have a lot of venting has a couple ports here a couple ports up here the top ones are closable with front entry flaps right here with a little switch back to open forward to close one on each side has your typical face shield. It does not have the pin feature, but it doesn't need it because it's not fully enclosed. And you have your typical release lever, pop this out, you can put in a new shield. But you might not even have to do that because another really sweet feature of this that I wish I had in my showy is this. Doink pretty sweet looking smoked sunshield has multiple positions it fully spring retracts what you have is a mechanism on top one lever here that you push forward to bring it down it has three positions it has one here that you can feel a little bit and stop at if you go all the way it locks into the second position if you want to get into the third you have to push down the button and bring it all the way forward. Typically though, you're gonna use it by just reaching up top and doing that, and that locks it into the second position. This is perfect for her face, comes down just above her nose. The fully down position just moves it another quarter inch or so, but it exposes the top clip. And this is what you use for taking this in and out because you can swap this for other units, or if you just need to replace it, this just pulls out. But in the normal, just reach up and, and fling it mode, you can't see that. So this is your typical use right here. And it does retract just by pushing the button, so you don't have to fiddle around with anything. Of course, there's no need for any kind of anti-fog setting for the screen. It just has a normal, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven detents. Pretty standard stuff there. Really nice finish, it's extremely lightweight. Obviously, not having the chin bar, it is flexy. I would say it's about three quarter the weight of the Shoei RF-1000 that she was coming from. Partially due to the lack of the chin bar material, but also partially due to this definitely feeling thinner. Now, maybe that's just a sign of the times thing and they've improved materials because our helmets right now, the 1000s, they're back from 2006, so they're eight years old. Things have definitely improved in the last eight years, but I don't know when this particular one was designed. This is their current model as of 2014. Absolutely love the finish on it. Beautiful, automotive grade. It's got a little bit of a metallic flake in it. Nothing rattles, very tight, very good padding, and it's all removable, it's washable, it's changeable very soft snaps in and out really thick top padding 
typical foam on the inside, that will deteriorate. But you know what, you're supposed to swap your helmets every five years anyway. It does have some space here to put in speakers, and I will be doing that. I will be putting one of the Senna units in her helmet here and mine, and I'll take you through that when I do that in a separate video. So there you go, there's your overview. Over time, she'll be joining me in videos on rides, and she will definitely give you her opinion of it, especially in comparison to the Shoei RF-1000, which was her previous helmet. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.